Oh my. How is it going? Get my camera fixed there a little bit. Sorry, I gotta pull up my. Still figuring out all the stream stuff, so I gotta pull up my. Pull up my live stream to be able to find the chats to see you guys talking. There we go. Stuff, so I gotta pull up my. Hey, Trey, what's up? got a problem with my widget not working on my stream where it doesn't want to connect so I have to actually pull up something separate to be able to read you guys' comments how's the stream looking does it look fine ain't like glitching out real bad is it I hope not anyway. Alright. What do we want to play today? Start out with Nag and Adel Quagsire. I've been doing pretty good with it. So might as well try it out again. No. Oh. There we go. Dragon fighting. Joe Ghoul Guau Awesome 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 Oh Let's See start out with a whooper Mainly because he's my only basic This deck I'm loving this deck This is another Riolu it's another one of those budget friendly decks, Trey, you probably enjoy. Attach there and Cynthia. So card those cards are worthless right now. Alright. Nothing. We'll Poke Gear next turn. Crushing Hammer. Tails. Not sure what kind of oh I'm planning expanded. Oops. I thought I was planning standard. Oh well. Nothing I can do. Alright. Let's change this back to standard. There we go. I forgot I was messing around with the expanded yesterday. Or yeah, I think it was yesterday. Probably going up against a Reshazard deck, or maybe a Baby Bless Cephalon deck. Those are all over the place on here. Not too bad of a starting hand. Start with a Boy Bull in the active. Let's see. And it is. Well, there's Volcanion, so I guess we'll see. Let's see what we can hit here. Heads. Let's get. Hmm. Let's get an Ultra Ball. And then let's Ultra Ball away this one and this one. And get a Whooper. Go ahead and attach the choice band here. Or, yeah, choice band. Not choice band. Wish will baton. Go ahead and acro bike, see what we get. A lily. Perfect. And then we'll lily four seven. Nice. Alright, lay down the ditto. Another poipal. And then here we'll get another whooper. Yep, there we go. Let's see. Got one Nagnatal, one Quagsire. The other stretchers in here. Seven energies. Cool. And then we will go ahead and attach that there. Oh. 
guess he got tired of me, yeah. Tired of waiting on me to play. Hey Gengar, how's it going? Nice to see you back in here again today. Hey, another another coin flip win. It's the second one this morning or afternoon. All right, let's start with the poiple, I believe. And we'll put the ditto on the bench. There we go. How's your Memorial Day weekend going, guys? Unbroken bonds. All right, let's do this number and Cynthia. Could have looked. No, it's not. This is um, Poipol Naganatal, Nagaquag. Um, it's a little bit of a different deck. Let's get the Washout Quagsire. The Zorark Greninja deck just wasn't working out too well for me. Anyway, I've, I've started playing this one. It's doing a lot better. Uh, I'm just missing cards for the Zorark one. We can go back and try it out later, though. Flareon, presumably. I'm gonna get that Flare Starter attack. Maybe we'll attach three Fire Energies from his deck. Probably to here. Maybe one to here. I would assume so, because you only need two on here maximum. There's one to the Eevee. Two to the Eevee. So maybe he's planning on evolving straight up. Next turn. Do this. Alright, let's see what we have going on here. Go ahead and do this. Let's Ultra Ball away the Baton and the Quagsire for the Guru. What do we have in here? Quagsire. I need that. Um, let's just instruct for two. Okay. Nest Ball, go ahead and get us another Poiple. Got both of those in deck. Alright. And then we'll just spit poison. Not really anything else we got going on for us. Might as well, right? A little bit of extra damage. Altar of the Sun. Fire and Metal Pokemon have no weakness. Okay. That'll come in handy when I hit him with this water type later on. But I can get rid of that. Probably should attach the baton here. Alright. We'll put this energy right here. It doesn't really matter where we put it. With Wash Out, we can move it into the act anytime we need to. Alright. Attach here. Let's go ahead and stretcher that poiple back. Oop. There we go. And then instruct for two. Kind of a slow start here. Not gonna lie. Hmm, what do I want to do? I can Ultra Ball for the Naganadal. And then he won't get the knockout unless he plays a Kakui. I guess that might be the best thing to do. And then just pass. Yeah. 
has to play a Kakui here to get the knockout, because Volcanion's only doing 110. Okay, so he attached and then evolved. So I guess he could get the knockout here with Flourish or um, Bright Flame for 190. But he would have to sacrifice, unless he has a Switch or a Guzma. I understand. Understand. All right, knock out my Quag. That's fine. I've got more somewhere. I can get that energy back easily enough. Not worried about that. All right, Viridian. Now we're looking good. And then let's instruct for three. All right. Okay. So let's stretcher the quag, one of the quags, slap him down right there, go ahead and order pad, see what we get, if anything, heads, okay, let's grab a nest ball, Oop. for a whooper, that way we've got backups, then let's Cynthia. All right. We want to attach here. Hmm. I've already charged up. I have not. Okay. So there is enough in the discard. Let's see. I should be able to get knockout here. All right. If I attach one, and then I attach for two. And then I retreat here, charge up, and then wash out. Move that energy up there, and then I should be hitting for like 240. Yeah. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. There we go. <clears throat> and then he should, he have to play a Kukui to get knockout here. That would set me back a little bit. If he gets Kukui. Knocking those three energies off. I can get one back here. If I can get the evolution, I can get two back there. And then I can evolve because I have Stretcher and get the Quag back out. So, and then I have one attached return. If I can get the other Nag and then I can knock that out. If I had one more turn of poison on him, it wouldn't be no big deal. Okay, going for the Snorlax. Something I can two shot. Hit it for 140. And then next turn, hit it for 140 again. Five. I assume he's just going to swing straight into the Quagsire. One baton down, two batons down, okay. And then there's the third one, so no more batons left in the deck. It's alright. Wish I had one on this Quagsire, but that's my misplay, I guess. What are you doing, guy? What are you doing? Volcanion. You can't play Kakui now because you're out of. You just played Lily. 
He's just flare starter. Is he gonna attach one here? Maybe he can weld her next turn. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Makes sense. Let's go ahead and thin a little bit. Um, yeah, why not? Go ahead and stretch your back a quag. Go ahead and burn this poke gear for nothing. Just want to be able to draw a little bit more off of here. Alright. Two. Too bad I can't Guzma. Go ahead and start hitting it at that. Just Hydro Pump. So all I need to do now is knock out this guy. Okay, there's two of my energies back. Yeah, he's got Welder. Double fire energy. For sure. Otherwise, there's no reason to promote that right now. Maybe not. Lugia? What's he doing with a Lugia? It's primarily played in stall decks. Huh. A little different. I can knock that out. That's an easy two prizes right there. Guzma it up. Move all the energies on to one. What are you weak to? Lightning? So I either need to knock out this or knock out these. Those are my win conditions right now. If he doesn't have knockout with this guy, that makes my life easier. I can move all these energies up here do a bigger amount of damage. Oh, I'm hitting for 160 right now. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's actually the better thing to do. Okay, go on the switch. Okay, I'm gonna Guzma. Lily? Four. And he gets... I don't, I don't know what he's going for. He has to play the single welder. Makes me wonder if he even has welders. Not sure what kind of deck we're going up against. Alright. Let's... Oh, there is another baton in here. I'm going to check that out. Alright, let's attach here. Let's attach here. Let's Guzma here. Actually, there's 120. 40, 60, 80, 200. Let's do this. Wash out. Alright, I'm at 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Not bad. Let's go ahead and drop this in the discard. There's nothing in there, but we can do this number right here. Pretty much have all of our energies into play. And then Hydro Pump for knockout. So now we only have to take one prize. So it shouldn't be too hard. Use a bunch of one prizers. Escape rope. Shouldn't be too hard. I have access to three energies. One here. If he if he fill blower's baton, I can still charge up once and then attach once, and then no matter which one of these he brings up, will be knockout. So cool enough. Cool enough. What are you going for? Salazzle? Could Salazzle and then Queens haze me, but that won't work either because I can still get three onto the field. No, because he attached for turn. Okay, I think I've got him this turn. Or this next turn coming up. Guzma and Fidget Spinner. Yep. For what? What do you get? At this point, there's just nothing else. 
yeah, this sizzle. I just at this point there's just nothing you can do. He probably thinks it'll be hard to get knockout on something. Hoping I don't have a Guzma. See, I've used one here. I've actually only used one, so I've got two more in deck somewhere. He's probably just running my timeout and then concede. For Cynthia, Boca Gear is awesome. Awesome stuff. Okay. Ho uh oh. Favorite Pokemon right there. Let's go. I feel like he's just running my timeout. Okay. So I can't get a knockout on the Ho oh. I don't do enough damage for that because he's weak to lightning, not water. So I need Guzma to ensure a win. I'm not sure what he's doing, honestly. Unless he concedes after this, he's just wasting my time. Plus Cephalon, now I can get a knockout on that if he puts it up. But the Ho is the only thing I can't get a knockout on with what I have going on. Except for he didn't fill Blower that away, so I've got a knockout on that too. Just attach here. And then promote the Nag. All right, awesome stuff. All right, charge up. Got four in the discard. I can get three of those. Charge up. Aqua patch. One. Go ahead and attach. And I'll escape rope. It really doesn't matter at this point what he puts up. I've got knockout. I think. Yeah, I should have knockout. Let's see, there's 140, 60, 80, yeah. I've got like 220 damage going on. Alright. And then we will just wash out. Might as well hit him with everything I got, right? Alright, well played. Hydro pump. Not bad. Well, that was a fun game. Alright. Let's go and play that Zorark Greninja deck again. I haven't played it in a few days. Maybe it'll treat me better. Maybe. Start out with a Naganadal or a Poipal. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're going up against a Cottony deck, or uh, not Cottony, um, it's a flippy deck is what it is. What do you call it? I can't remember. Cannot remember. Huh. Well, I guess it is what it is. Alright. First things first. Get rid of that stadium. And then let's acro bike. Show, yeah, judge because I don't have anything else at the moment. Acro bike again for the choice man. We need some of those in the discard pile. And let's go ahead and fin just a little bit. Go ahead and attach here. Go ahead and attach here and then judge. Alright. Nice dead hand. Love them. 
Go ahead and spit poison. Nice dead hand. <clears throat> Alright, very song for those energies, I assume. Ditto Prism. It's not bad. I mean, it's better than better than anything, I guess. Alright. Let's go ahead and lay him down. Let's use this to drop off. Oh, I should drop the Poke Gear. Oh well. Attach here. Cynthia. Alright. Finally something we can bench. And then we just have to do spit poison again. Have to do it again. I don't have anything going for us next turn unless we can top deck a supporter. So that's interesting. Oh. Sorry to be distracted here, guys. I am trying to post on different communities so that I can... Oh. It's the only way I promote my channel, so... Alright. Energy switch. Well, that works. Alright, we'll do this. Switch one from here to here. Go ahead and retreat. Hit him with Cocos Trap. And then Dark Pulse. Resistant to Dark. Okay. Didn't realize that. It's okay. That is okay. Poison is putting in the work. Ah, Acerola. Of course he does. And I bet he got the evolution to Cottony also. Able to evolve that thing right out. I am sorry, Noah. I do not have any codes. If I had a code, I'd give it to you, but I don't have it, so sorry about that, man. I could use some codes myself. <laughs> Let's see. Should be knockout, I think. Oh, resistance. Resistance. It would have been short anyway, it looks like. Yeah, it would have been short by 10. I was only doing 150. All the way from Germany, huh? That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to go to Germany. Well, I assume you're from Germany. You could be German and be here. Or anywhere, for that matter. But I've always wanted to go to Germany. Beacon. What are you going to beacon for? Could use some more to drink. I had a glass full of Sprite, but I'm already down that. I think it's me some more here in a minute. A little bit of chapstick. Stuff is addicting. Mm. All right. Looks like we communications with the Zorark. Four. A Lele Wonder Tag for Lily. 
finally get a supporter going on here. Oh, no Lily, so Cynthia it is. Let's go ahead and hit it. There, Naganadal one. And then just Dark Pulse for a zillion amount of damage. I really need to Guzma this thing up is what I need to do. Guzma it up, kill it. Keep it from doing that right there. Whimsicott, there's the name of it. Hmm. There we go. Oh, well, it looks like, guys, I am only one sub away from 100 subs. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, one sub away. Thank you very much. Don't know who did it. No, if it was you, thank you. Toy box. What does that do? Search your deck of five cards. Put them into your hand. Oh, okay. So it's uh, Algorithm GX off of Metagross. pretty excited to reach that hundred sub mark I've been working towards that for a long time it's been one of my goals of course so I appreciate it to everybody that's made it possible let's go ahead and charge up again it's ultra ball away the ultra ball and the dark energy for this, no, this. Then let's go ahead and charge up. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I didn't even realize I had that. Okay. Okay. So, first things first. Let's attach this here. Let's do this. This kills this ability. Let's charge up. And then let's hit for 280 after resistance. So I can actually one-shot this thing right here. Which on the downside, I've got so little health left, he can one-shot me. So I'm going to need to lay this down. Hmm. Ace of Rolla. Okay. That wasn't really a threat. 150, which is plenty to knock me out. Okay. Surely he's not going to switch that into the active. No. Okay. We'll put up this one. He's got the escape board. There we go. All right. So I need energy switches. That's what I need. Do I even have any? Oh, there's one. Okay, let's grab that Cynthia. A little bit of shuffle. Okay, let's do some weeding out. Let's Ultra Ball away the Nest Ball and the GX. Grab the GX. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cynthia. There we go. There we go. Alright. Attach. Here. Energy retreat. Or energy switch. Onto here. Go ahead and charge up once. I have no idea if this is enough to actually get the KO. Retreat into Zorak Greninja. 
Go ahead and charge up again here. This should be enough damage. 260. I was doing 280. Lost two green. Three, I think. So dark pulse four. Knock out. 310 damage. Could have knocked out a whale lord and uh whale lord magic card. With 30 damage left over. <laughs> Well, that worked out surprisingly well. All right. Do we do another one? Do we do another one? Or do we switch to a different deck? I was able to get my hands on one Reshizard, so I could play that. But uh, it's not all that good because I only have one. Just one. Um, let's see. Same with pick a rom. I only have one pick a rom. I don't have. I don't like these in here, but I don't have anything else to replace them with because I need codes too. Let's see. Let's just go with this for now. It's fun to play when it works. Fun to play when it works. Doesn't always work. But, you know, is what it is. I think that's the first coin flip I've lost this entire game. Alright. Start out with you, I guess. Electric. It's not a bad little attacking Pokemon, not Electric, but the evolved version. Allows you to attach two energies from your hand. So you can get Picarom going up on turn two if you go second, you know. Turn three, I guess. You can attack with it. So it's it's alright, it's just it's it's not as consistent as everybody else's. But it works. Let's see what you have. Nihiligo, are you playing a counter deck? Nightcap. You can only use this attack if your opponent has exactly two prizes remaining. Choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it. Wow. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. So basically, anything that I have going on is going to be dangerous. Alright, need to go over. I think I'll play a tournament after this. Stellar Wish, Attack Skateboard, all he has to do now is retreat into another Stellar Wish. What is he looking for? Okay, Zap does with Nile Ego, okay. Must use Rainbow Energy or something. For Lily, for four, or he already placed four. He did. So, Lily for next turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Acrobike first. 
We will grab the acro bike. I really don't want a Mars Shadow here. Acro bike again for an Ultra Ball. Let's go ahead and attach here. Let's nest ball for. Zapdos. Alright, let's go ahead and switch. Energy switch. And then Lily for seven or six. Alright. Whole bunch of nothing. Um Ultra Ball dropping off that and that. Get the zero aura. We have free retreat the rest of the game, unless you know they get rid of it. And then let's just knock out. Ninety-nine subscribers, just one to go. I'm pretty excited about that. Give me two subs. Or two subs. Get me a hundred subs. That'll be the first time, obviously, that I've been up to a hundred subs. I thank everybody for subscribing. Energy Lotto for. Did he hit it? For a unit energy. Okay. Guess that works on him. Lightning Metal and Psychic. Did he play Electro? He did. Alright. So there's Knockout. He should be doing exactly 110. Lily for two. Alright. Let's put this guy up here. Oh. Oh, man. Hmm. If I don't get an energy switch... Oh no, this guy's got a free retreat. Never mind. That's a good thing about him. Also, Electro Power, Cynthia. Right now, it's basically whoever can string knockouts together. Let's get rid of that. Let's fill blower that little board right there. Go ahead and nest ball. Apococo Prism Star. Okay. Let's retreat. Let's go ahead and Coco. Dance of the Ancients. My one Picaram is prized. Because that's all I've been able to pull. Need to actually break down and go trade for the Got going on. Stellar wish for something. Hopefully for nothing. Maybe for nothing. Wouldn't hurt my feelings if it was for nothing. For Zapdos, attach energy, switch. Electro power, and you've got knockout. I think that was my only escape board, or um, what's it called? 
rescue stretcher, wherever it's at. But I know I played it. There it is. Voltner for switch and lightning energy. That's what I would do. Let's see. He's having a hard time choosing. Electro power. Okay. Must already have the escape. Makes sense. Makes sense. Maybe he has another skateboard or switch. These decks play lots of switches. Or maybe he's just hoping to draw into one with a stellar wish. Hmm. Shrine? Don't like that. That'll slowly tick up and cause me a lot of damage. Alright. Did he get it? Did he get it? Okay, there's the electrical power, so that leads me to believe he did get the switch. Escape rope, okay. He's doing 110. He can have the zero aura. That's probably what he was hoping for. I'd rather him not knock out that, though. How many powers have I played? Just one? Okay. Come on. Hit the done button. Hey, Gengar. I see you back in here. Gengar is one of my very first subscribers. This is a kind of a haphazard pick-a-rom deck. Oh, there's knockout. Very nice, very nice. Oh no, it ain't knockout. Almost knockout though. If I can't find a way to get him off the board. Alright, let's just do this. Let's retreat. Let's attach. Because I don't want to discard it. Yeah, it's a kind of a Zapdosy pick a rom thing. Energy switch. Hmm. I guess let's just thunderous assault. That's the threat. There's the thicker rom. All right. If I don't get, so this is going down at the end of this turn. Which means my free retreat will be gone, and so will my two energies. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I can Guzma, lay pick on him, attack, hit for two lightnings. Just open packs, man. Just open a lot of packs, um, open a lot of newer packs, team up, and team up and Unbroken Bonds packs. Um, that's really the only way to grow your collection. Unless you want to go out and buy singles, uh, you can also do that. Go to like Troll and Toad or... Um, some of them other guys, I can't remember right now. Uh, TCG player has a lot of singles. So, I mean, that's it's pretty much the only way there is. Trade around with your friends, you know. Pretty much the only way you can grow your collection. 
I don't really have that big a collection. Um, mainly, I just trade around for the cards that I want, and then the rest of them I don't worry about. So, this allows me to get a knockout with Guzma, though. So that's good. But he gets two prizes. I'll still be ahead in the prize race. What is this? 110? Alright. Let's Guzma here. Let's lay down this. Let's move an energy from there and there. And then attach here. And then just hit Sky High Claws. We'll see if he has double knock. Ooh. Can move all three of those energies onto Pick Off next turn. Hmm. Of course, then I wouldn't be able to retreat, so there's that. to give me some of the drink. Maybe some painkillers. Legs are hurting. Hurting pretty bad. Switch and a Guzma. Switch and a Guzma for Mars Shadow and Machamp? What kind of deck is he playing? Huh. Okay. Well, guess it is what it is. Okay. Dance of the Ancients. Let's get some energies on. Don't know where he's gonna put them. On the Mars Shadow or maybe the Mew? Just one. Okay. Oh no, there's two. Oh no, that's a rainbow. Okay. I see what he's doing. Huh. Well played. Well played. There you go. Well played. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Don't know how to get around this. Let loose ain't gonna help nothing. That's 50 damage times the amount of energy to all of your opponent's Pokemon. And he's only got two attached. So... Yeah, pretty much random deck there, Gengar. Um, I don't know what to do here. Guess I could do this. Manually retreat. Attach here. Go ahead and lay down this guy. Energy switch here to here. And then just hit him for 80. Probably should have. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm out of energy too. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, this deck doesn't play that much. Doesn't play that much at all. Okay, so he's just gonna Guzma and then switch. Nice. Okay. Or maybe he actually doesn't have knockout. Because this only does it if it is knocked out, right? If any of your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from opponent's last turn, this does uh, 90 more, which equals 120. So maybe he doesn't have knockout. 
If he waits, Shrine will do his work for him. But if I Guzma... Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. No. Nest ball for... For what? What do you need? Nothing. Okay, so just a whiff. That's fine. Is he just going to pass turn? If I can Guzma... Energy switch. Hmm. I actually need to top deck an energy here. And, of course, if I do that, I'm not going to be able to get the switch. Huh. Okay. Okay. Looks like he's just biding his time. Oh, Guzma. Guzma. Guzma's good. 80. 100. And then he hits back into me. Hmm. But he doesn't get to do the big damage. But if we have to wait on ticks, his is going to make it before mine does. Or mine will make it before his does. Okay. Okay. Alright, I need to retreat. And then hit him again. Okay, there's a Viridian. That'll take care of that. Let's go ahead and Viridian away. Hmm. 40, 50, 60. Huh? Okay, okay. No, I can't retreat twice. Hmm. This is going to be super close. I should have left the shrine. If I'd have left the shrine, I would have had knockout right there. That was a big misplay on my part. doesn't help that I'm not seeing any supporters. I've only played one Cynthia. And two Lily. I should be seeing supporters. Should be. But I'm not. So, is what it is. Life's hard. Life's hard when you're a Pokemon player. Guzma. Okay. Does he have energy? He does have energy because I gave him the Viridian. Not only did I mess up by not taking the knockout here, I then gave him the Viridian to have his own. Well played. Well played. Well played. Nicely done, my man. Nicely done. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching the stream. Um, been going about an hour now. I need to get off here. I need to get me something to drink. I've been feeling under the weather today. But uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.